Hi hey guys, this is Endel, and we are back playing Stellaris with the Utopia expansion. In this episode we started, found our first enemy around here. Before we continue, I actually remembered a thing that I haven't done, which is I should have uh, deactivated this to save some energy. Uh, one on maintenance, uh, as long as it uh, doesn't actually work. Um, as far as the uh, our expansion plan, uh, let's talk about uh, the, the the traditions. I didn't want the previous episode to be all just just read and talk. So actually, uh, the, the most of the time, uh, what I've uh, ended up doing is going for discovery first, rushing for planetary survey corps, and then leaving it uh, be for a while. Then I would uh, look towards either prosperity or expansion. Prosperity is okay ish uh, idea well, in a mid game but uh, it can be al also quite useful early on first of all you get a minus 33 percent uh, mining station build cost reduction which is uh, a substantial uh, sum you save uh, for well basically for uh, every two stations you get uh, a third for free which is uh, well it basically goes uh, from uh, from 90 to 60 and uh, this one is also very important, 15% uh, shield uh, and building cost. That allows you to um, develop your space and your uh, planets uh, very early on. But the rest of it, uh, not quite as impressive. The, the, this one is, is very nice, but uh, not really worth going that deep before you have at least a few planets. And uh, the king of all of them really is expansion, in my opinion, in, at least in the, the way I play my game. So uh, by simply picking it, your new colony start with one additional pop, which is a uh, well, good enough head start. Um, then you go for colonization fever, which uh, make all the basically all of your planets produce one additional unity, which is okay. Then you have uh, the fact that the tradition cost, which is, well, this cost, uh, it grows uh, exponentially with the the amount of uh, uh, pops and amount of planets you have, and this uh, reduces, uh, slows down this, this increase as you expand. And uh, probably the most powerful one is this one, which reduces the growth and also increases coin development speed, which saves you by 50%, which saves you a lot of uh, energy credits early on and allows you to, to, to expand uh, uh, a bit faster. Uh, reaching the start, uh, start is also extremely um, powerful because your um, frontier outposts and colonies cost much less in terms of uh, um, influence uh, because the the, the distance uh, from your um, existing colonies and out well, basically from your existing territories is halved for the uh, purpose of uh, counting the cost. And last but by no no not least, your frontier outpost upkeep is reduced by 50 percent, which doesn't sound that impressive. But you have to remember that uh, your influence gains are fairly limited. And uh, without this, each uh, frontier outpost costs uh, one influence. So basically, having four four and two outposts would zero our uh, our influence gain, which of course isn't something you want. Uh, so ca cutting that in half is is is, is very powerful uh, for basically for for doing a land grab early on. Uh, and the fact that they also cost uh, free energy maintenance, so that's nothing to. Uh, uh, to overlook either. So, yeah, there we go. And so, basically, our plan is going to be to, to uh, grab those, the ticket, grab those two, and then, depending on how the situation develops, we'll uh, get to the uh, ship cost and building cost reduction or go straight for the full expansion. Oh, and of course, uh, you get two additional core uh, sector systems, which will bring you back to five that all the nation, uh, nations have been really starting with before this uh, this expansion. Now it's free. All right, yeah. let's go back to fastest. And 
Are you on the way? You are. Encounter heal alien vessels. Uh, this is what? Ah, oh, crystal island. It is interesting. The standard, yeah, standard space of crystal entities. Uh, okay, we are dead. And 29 days to retreat, not going to happen. All right, well, we didn't need that one anyway. But at, at least we encountered crystal entities. It's 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 good because they uh, give you some uh, some uh, later bonuses too. You can use construction ship. Uh, well. Actually, we are a bit late. Wait, I, I send you there. Definitely, I want you. All oh, right, wait. Uh, I send you there later for whatever reason. That's probably not the best idea. Well, either way, construction ship can move. We can enter orbit here. As you can see, sixty-four and two hundred. Yeah, we're almost there, and we can now uh, get the the first ambition, a uh, first tradition. We'll stick to our guns and uh, big discovery, although uh, reduction in uh, research station build cost isn't going to help us uh, one bit, not, not at the moment. Uh, well, here, mm, nothing we're going to do for now, at least uh, until we run out of food. Oh, oi, 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 oi. What do we have there? Mm, communication established. We have a uh, xenophile militarists, and they are there. Okay, so we should be able to build it before they uh, they expand, basically blocking their access as soon as we uh, have, well uh, close uh, close borders for them. This changes everything, and uh, let's take a look at here. What do we have here? Hey, hey, hey. So this is a sort of a base system for crystalline entities, uh, which well, kind of sort of blocks uh, blocks our way. Uh, we somehow managed to escape from this one, and you are going through there. So uh, I'm sure we will be able to to jump through here. Well, first of all, let's see. Uh, those are also crystal entities. So we ended up in a space with mostly crystal entities as enemies. That's okay. Uh, in previous games, I had almost exclusively pirates, which I guess it's it's a nice change. Uh, let's slow it down. As soon as this finishes, we're going to build the frontier outpost here, which is pretty fucking expensive, 160 uh, points, but yeah, we, we start with decent influence outputs and I think this is going to to, to be uh, to be worth it too. Mm, because not failing to stop them from, from expanding into those alpine worlds would be pretty detrimental. Uh, now, we're going to escape. You are good. You should be able to escape through that, uh, from here as well, unless I don't remember something about how they re react. Okay, I didn't remember something how they react. Shit. Maybe you are going to... Yeah, 11 days, perhaps. Yeah, okay. You should be able to. But they did aggro. Okay, wow. It's a lot of you fuckers. Hmm. Well, maybe this, uh, as it turns out, this whole avenue that we are trying to block isn't as prime of a, uh, of a location as I thought it was. It's a bit too many. Uh, very powerful aliens, as you can see from my liking. It will take us ages before we will be able to clean it, but I think, I mean, this whole uh, cluster is, is, is good enough as it is. And, well, at some point we should be able to, to get there and, uh, well, might as well check if there is uh, perhaps another empire in this in this whole cluster or in this arm. The galaxy, yeah, I'm definitely more interested in this whole bit. And um, there's one nebula there. Nebulas are actually quite important uh, because uh, m the more rare resources spawn there exclusively. So it's uh, 
sec securing some of them is, 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 is very important for your mid game. Okay, well, somehow he survived all, all of that, so that's that's a good start. Uh, I'm going to, I guess, check that and, well, might as well uh, research uh, things around this. So we can get the Trappist one. Not sure if we will it. Not sure if it will uh, merge just yet without us uh, getting any additional uh, border range, but uh, shouldn't be that big of an issue. I, I sure hope so because, well, that would uh, completely seal that uh, seal that thing, and yeah, uh, should be close enough. Uh, still in active buildings, don't care. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's uh, another empire just behind the corner. Lethal now, definitely. Uh, why isn't it shown? Okay, there's a uh, level 3. Oh, yes, there it is. I was looking at it wrong. So a new feature is the details map mode. You start with uh, this, which uh, among other things doesn't show you uh, as it used to do the, what you have built there already and uh, specific things such as, uh, in this case, uh, anomalies will only uh, show up when you select the, um, the type of uh, ship that they are um, associated with. So in, in case of anomalies, that's a science ship. In case of, uh, uh, all right, and it, it won't show the uh, potentially habitable planets, which is an important information from the start. So I, I like to keep the detailed smart mode on uh, because uh, for whatever reason it starts off. Uh, okay, the level. Uh, I will try to keep it on fastest, although I will be. Uh, yeah, we found some aliens here. Who is it? Oh, okay, so that's a dead scout. And this is going to be a merchant enclave. Uh, this is the least important of the enclaves at the, at the moment. It, uh, mm, what was the first one? Um, so there are artisans and there are uh, curators, right? So curators are, in my opinion, the most important with the research bonuses they grant. But artisans, uh, artists actually, not artisans, uh, used to be basically useless. Uh, but now they provide you with plus 15 uh, unity gain, which is, uh, is actually very nice. Okay, so more crystalline entities and this guy is dead. That's a day. Well, we got far enough, I'd say, and this is the most important avenue, as it turns out, anyway. Um, okay, let's check there. Actually, let's keep going through here. At least... Yeah, uh, like this, we'll check that some other time. Of course, assuming that we'll be still alive, but yeah. All right. That will almost double our physics research on top of grabbing some land, which is an amazing start. As you can see, they have uh, some bonuses to... All uh, oh, right, because they are militaries, so they have... Oh, actually, militaries doesn't start, start with bonuses. Uh, border range, yes, nationalistic zeal. Oh, and warrior culture. Culture. Okay, that's uh, just for the armies, so we don't want to get... Uh, um, get invaded by them, but that's about uh, it. They do like us, though. Interesting. Good mm. form an aggression pact for now. I'll well, we'll get back to that notion in a sec. Uh, uh, well, we still haven't been able to, 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 to block them, not really, because this isn't in our borders, but hopefully uh things will grow and uh, 
And the problem is that this tropical world will be, uh, they won't be able to settle it, not really, but uh, uh, we won't be able either, although that's only 13, so not a big issue. Uh, our next goal is uh, to expand here and stop them uh, from spreading in this direction. They do have first habitable planet here, but this is also something they could go for. Uh, as you can see, range with, without uh, border range bonuses is, is, is pretty meager on those things. Uh, so, I mean, of course it's it's best to, to, to get on such things like, like neutron stars and black holes because you get additional stuff, but uh, that would probably be barely enough to, to, to cover this bit. So uh, uh, that's a no-go, uh, not really. So we would have to perform that land grab by getting a second uh, frontier outpost right here. Uh, we don't really have... Uh, yes, 179, uh, so yeah. Mm, not gonna need to happen quite yet. Mm. Let's see. Well, might as well get some energy first. Since we are going to need that, and oh, we will be getting some uh, some experience uh, from that. And oh, that's actually artisan troop. Not I looked at it wrong, I guess. But that's a bit better. Artist, not artisan. Jesus. Mm, check our surface. Well, almost getting there. Mm. We may actually get uh, get that guy before we uh, will have to switch. So that's nice. Oh, uh, well, of course, if you haven't got the memo, food is now a stored and uh, uh, empire-wide uh, resource, not. Uh, uh, not as it used to be limited to to, to specific uh, uh, to specific planets, which well, allows for quite a different uh, approach when it comes to to uh, doing such things as uh, uh, getting specialized worlds, for example, that only produce. Uh, uh, minerals or only energy due to some, some bonuses that that they have. Uh, all right, so you are going to go where next? Okay, so we are going to get this one. After that, I'm going to send you here, here, and here because I think we'll we'll go for this uh, uh, this outpost some point in not the distant future after all. Alright, and now we get the the second anomaly, uh, the, the, the second tradition, and we have 23 months from the third, which is about the time we want to get uh, at least a second science ship. I don't think I want to, to abuse this and get like five science ships and get my science uh, Hyper boosted or whatever, because that's going to probably be changed in in the next patch because it's 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 getting a bit ridiculous. You uh, with three four ships uh, and focusing on surveying, especially early on, you can double or triple your your uh, science income, which is a bit silly. Uh, Sublight exploration probes. Uh, okay, even chain. Oh, I haven't seen that event. Okay, what's trying to murder us here? Okay, they just passed through. Never mind. Um, some exploration probes. Search Kinder, Lima. Okay, all oh, right. Yes, that those are probes we have sent before becoming a, a spacefaring empire. For some reason in previous games, I on this patch I haven't gotten this event at all. Hmm. Okay. For a second, I thought this was on the on the same uh, same star, which would make our uh, physical research outright crazy. But yeah, it's it's good enough. Yes. Let's uh, check that first anomaly at zero. Whatever it is, I'm not going to to do do much reading on those anomalies. 
done that the previous time and I don't think I liked it, so... <laughs> there we go. Huh. Mm, we are good on credits. Uh, hmm. I think I will actually go and use that, the fact that we have uh, cheaper research stations and get the second one to, to kickstart our... Uh, uh, our physics, which is which is going to transfer directly into um, how powerful our uh, military is going to be uh, in you know later in the game. That being said, as I mentioned, I will try to do uh, more often, but uh, shorter uh, videos. So this is going to be the end of this one. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next episode.